Hi, I'm James. This is Whiteboard Wednesday, and I don't have anything funny to open with, and they never really were funny to begin with. See what I did there? What is just in time? Or JIT, or JIT, which sounds almost inappropriate. So let's say your customer buys something, and you don't make or distribute that part until they do so, and then with that time, uh, at that moment that they purchase it, you combine that with your little bit of lean inventory boom, you have the just-in-time process. So, what is the good part of that process? Well, it makes for a lean inventory. You're not keeping a bunch of items on hand and wasting money, which also leads to freeing up capital. You don't have a bunch of things sitting on yourself, so you have capital to invest in other areas of your business. Plus, it keeps you on task. When you're making something, the moment that order comes in, you know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Unfortunately, there's some bad associated with just-in-time. There's delays. The slightest little hiccup can really set you back and create a stock out. If your vendor priorities are off, meaning if they're not serving you hand and foot, or if you are not one of their number one priorities, a little backup on their end means a backup on your end, which is not a good thing. And if you deal with seasonality in your business, well, it's hard to predict what's coming down the line and all of a sudden you may get a big influx and you can't prepare for that or accommodate that in time. So here's the ugly truth about just in time. Yeah, it sounds great to keep a lean inventory and only make something when it's ordered, but the only way that works is if you as a company have fixed bills of material, if you make a very few select products, if you have all this diversity, man, you're gonna have a real headache trying to do just in time and you're able to ramp up or scale very quickly. On top of that, you need to have constant demand. You don't really fight seasonality, and you need a dedicated vendor who treats you essentially as their first order of business so that you are always supplied the moment you need it. So there aren't a lot of businesses that this works for. It can work in the automotive industry, a few other places, and maybe it works for your business in your industry, but for the most part, just in time, it's kind of like, well, a dream, and then you wake up. I don't know where I was going with that metaphor, but that's this Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm James, and that's it.